Good evening. Mark here at Discover Your Home. Tonight we are going to talk about exterior staining or painting your home. Now the question, and I'm I'm probably a little bit at fault. A lot of times when um, you're in the trades, you ha use generic terms like painting as opposed to staining. They're, we use them uh, interchangeable because to us it's it's the application that we're talking about more than anything. So it could be now instead of stain, we're using paint. So so tonight we're going to talk a little bit about staining your home and painting your home. And we'll talk a little bit about some of the differences, some of the things that we like to use, some of the things that we can help you on in, in your home. So um, let's start off with what kind of home you have. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the houses that we are working on are generally, if they're wood, they're roughs on cedar sided. Uh, if they're older, they're a smooth cedar. Hey, Bob and Rosie, how you doing tonight? Thank you for joining me. Um, like I said, if it's an older home, 50, 60 years old, you'll find that you'll have the smooth cedar or uh, smooth redwood. Um, that's something we'll talk about as far as what we use on that. But we'll start with our, our basic house out there in the, the, the western suburbs that are, you know, rough sawn cedar. And we've seen homes that have been painted, painted, uh, the use of paint uh, on the, the siding. And we find that a lot of times um, they have a tendency to peel uh, more so uh, than just using a, an acrylic stain as opposed to an acrylic paint. Uh, hopefully I'm not confusing you guys here, but um, stain has a tendency to penetrate as opposed to a paint which is really kind of covering a surface. That's kind of how I like to, to, to tell our customers is what's, what's the big difference. Uh, so if, I, if it's my house, I'm going to tell you what Mark would do if Mark had a cedar side at home. Um, after we get it cleaned and everything, uh, what we have seen over the past is homes uh, used, used to be when they came out were always like a semi-transparent stain and people love the look of the semi-transparent stain you could see the grain come through but they didn't like having to do it every two to three years because they would wear semi-transparent stains would wear quickly so everybody really kind of has gone to you know I didn't say everybody but I would say 98 percent of our customers have gone to a solid body stain and stains penetrate like I said they're gonna bite real well uh, since it's a, a real rough surface, uh, what I always like to use as an applicator is a, a, a thicker nap roller. A nap means the thickness of the, the roller cover. Uh, we generally recommend like a three quarter inch polyester, even up to an inch polyester, you know, with a six inch hand, I should say a seven inch handle, uh, which is usually because the board's about a six and a half inch lap siding. Depends on what you're using. You've got uh, varying sizes. So we are actually applying a stain. Now we have, we have seen, like I said, we've seen folks where they have put paint on and they have peeling issues because a lot of times uh, some of these higher end coatings uh, are really good. In fact, they're so good when they dry over time, these paint coatings that is, uh, they pull so tight they actually pop off the stain off the side of the house. So they don't really do a job uh, as well as they should. Actually, they do it too well. Um, so we're going to recommend if you're doing a cedar sided home and your house is a cedar sided, rough sawn cedar sided, we're going to go ahead and, and, and handle that with a, an acrylic stain. Okay. Now, if we're going to move on over to the smooth cedar, which you see in kind of older traditional style homes, um, you know, at the four inch lap or the 10 inch lap, um, we've done, we've done stain on those, but we find a, a lot of times what we're painting we're painting those and those will generally uh, if you take that from a, um, a a brand new situation to to what you've got we always recommend putting a nice oil-based primer on that and then putting two coats of paint on top of that you can use stain on that uh, but we are probably gonna recommend putting an oil-based primer if you have a brand new house which we don't see very often anymore because most most cedar sided homes uh, now come out pre-stained, so you're not going to find a lot of homes that are um, that have uh, that are naturally raw. So, but if you do have an everything's all 
all raw. It's all raw cedar. Um, I would say start it off with a good coat of an oil-based primer. Cut it with a little bit of a product called Penetrol. It makes it makes the stain penetrate a little, makes the primer, I should say, penetrate a little bit better in that respect. But that's a very far and few between. We've only handled a couple of those in the last 30 years. You don't see that very often. Everything usually comes out pre-stained. So if we're going to move over, you know, to... Um, talking about other types of uh, siding like aluminum and vinyl and any sort of hardboard siding you're definitely going to want to go ahead and use a paint because it's a thicker coating um you know if there's you know there's really not any priming on that the surface has to be really clean that's the biggest key i find uh that most folks don't quite understand is that it's really your surface has to be incredibly clean uh, because you get a little bit of, of dirt on there or you get a little bit of mold and mildew on that surface and your paint just flat out won't stick. So what I don't recommend when you're out doing your home is um, I'm not a big fan of the spray application. Not that it's wrong or anything. It, it's completely not. You just need really good weather and you know if you're if you don't know how to operate a uh, airless sprayer I would highly suggest don't use it. But uh, I find that the challenges that I've seen with guys that do spray is one, they get a lot of overspray on things that uh, you really can't see on the ground, but as you get a little closer, you can notice them. Uh, secondly, you can spray, get spray on your neighbor's house, your neighbor's car, uh, their deck, the, you know, you get it on the roof. So if you are not properly training it, do not spray. Uh, if you do spray, make sure you back roll and back brush everything down to uh, Kind of work it into the surface and that's really on a rough sawn cedar side at home so um and that's really about it fill your nail holes as best you can uh you know anytime you have a a, a, a nail that's set in wood you want to fill that hole with either caulk or fill it in with excessive stain um keep your colors light and bright the lighter and brighter um the less wear and tear Darker colors wear a lot faster. It's something that you probably learned in science class. Uh, darker colors attract heat and light, so keep the color on the light side. Um, and you want to last longer because you may not want to have to get out there to do it again, time and time again. You might not, you'll probably add a couple years to the life of, of the outside of your home. So, uh, and that looks like that's about all we want to talk to you guys about tonight, about staining versus painting your home. I'm Mark at Discover Your Home. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.